Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly's Millions. In today's unemployment update, I wanted to go over the California EDD unemployment benefits flowchart. And this will be for anybody on UI that's going to PEUC, from the first PEUC to the second PEUC, from PEUC to FedEd, or people on PUA. This is how it's supposed to work. I know a lot of us have reached the point in our unemployment claims where we are either nearing the end of our benefit year or you're wondering what comes next after PEUC or is there anything available after Fed Ed? So everybody's wanting to know what happens next. This flowchart is what's current as of today, February 3rd. We are still hoping that some sort of stimulus bill passes that would extend these benefits even longer but right now nothing has passed, so we'll work with what we've got. So I'm gonna go through the scenarios from the left and work my way to the right, I think is how I'm gonna do this. Everybody's gonna start here, and that first question is, do you have employee wages in the last 18 months? Employee wages is going to be if you worked for a traditional W-2 employer. So if that is yes, then you may qualify for regular unemployment insurance, UI benefits. If eligible, you can receive up to 26 weeks of benefits. Visit UI online to apply. When you run out of available weeks of benefits, you might be eligible for 24 weeks under the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC, program. Um, at this point, nobody's going to be able to get 24 whole weeks unless you're already in the middle of the PEUC program because as of right now, that program and the PUA program both are set to expire at the latest, the week ending April 10th. The only program that will be available after that, unless a new stimulus bill passes, is the Fed Ed Extension or if you're still in the 26 weeks of your original unemployment claim, or if you qualify for a new unemployment claim. The next question is, did you run out of regular UI weeks, that first set of 26 weeks? If yes, has your benefit year expired on your claim? That's gonna be one year from when you first opened your regular unemployment claim. Benefit year is the 12 month period from the start of your claim. If no, if your benefit year has not expired, if you're still within your benefit year, the EDD will automatically file a PEUC extension on your claim and you will be notified by email, text, or watch your UI online account for an update. When you run out of weeks on a PEUC extension, you might be eligible for another 20 week extension under the federal state extended duration. Fed Ed program. Did you run out of PEUC weeks? If no, certify every two weeks to receive benefit payments. Okay, we're still starting here at the top. Do you have employee wages in the last 18 months from a traditional W-2 employer? If yes, you may qualify for regular unemployment insurance for up to 26 weeks. Did you run out of regular unemployment weeks? If yes, has your benefit year expired on your claim? If no, if you're still within your benefit year, uh, they'll file the PEUC extension for you automatically. When you run out of weeks on a PEUC extension, you might be eligible for another 20 week extension, Fed Ed. Did you run out of PEUC weeks? If yes, we come over to this square. The EDD will automatically file a Fed Ed extension on your claim if your regular UI claim started on or after May 19th, 2019, and you meet the Fed Ed specific eligibility and earnings requirements. You will be notified. Watch your UI online account for updates. If you're ineligible, the EDD will mail a notice within five to seven days explaining why you're ineligible with information on how the determination can be appealed. Also, the EDD will automatically open a PUA claim for you or reopen your PUA claim if you already had one in the past as long as you meet eligibility requirements. You will be notified. 
Watch your UI Online accounts for updates. Visit FedEd Extension page. Uh, it gives a link for more information. Okay, we're still on regular employee W-2 wages. Did you have those in the last 18 months? Yes, you may qualify for 26 weeks of unemployment. Did you run out of regular unemployment weeks? If yes, has your benefit year expired on your claim? Benefit year is that 12 month period from the start of your claim. If yes, we move over here if your benefit year has expired. If your benefit year has expired, you should file a new claim on UI Online. If there's enough intervening wages for a new claim, that claim will be processed. If not, the EDD will automatically file a PEUC extension on your prior UI claim and you will be notified. All right, and we're on to the last scenario for those of us with regular employee W-2 wages. Do you have those in the last 18 months? If yes, you may qualify for a regular unemployment insurance UI benefits for up to 26 weeks. Did you run out of regular UI weeks? No, you haven't run out of your first 26 weeks. File or reopen your claim on UI Online and certify every two weeks for EDD to determine eligibility benefit payments. All right, now we are on to those of you who do not have traditional W-2 employee wages. You still start here, but that's the first question. And if the answer is no, like if you're a gig economy worker, if you're self-employed, that kind of thing. Do you have income from being self-employed, a business owner, or an independent contractor? If yes, you may qualify for pandemic unemployment assistance if you are impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. If eligible, you can receive up to 57 weeks of PUA benefits. Visit the PUA page for more information and how to apply. Keep in mind, as of right now, the whole PUA program is set to expire the week ending April 10th, unless Congress votes to extend it, which we expect they will. We just don't have details and that hasn't officially passed yet. This goes on to say, note, if you earn income both as an employee and from being self-employed, a business owner, or an independent contractor, you're encouraged to apply through UI Online. You can also indicate on UI Online if you believe you should have had wages reported by an employer and list that employer. The EDD will determine whether you qualify for regular UI or PUA benefits based on information provided. Visit UI Online to apply. Please keep in mind almost any time that this chart says that you will automatically move from one extension to the next, in many cases, people are reporting that they have needed to call the EDD to be moved from one program to the next. That is especially true if you don't meet the requirements for Fed Ed. Notice that this still says that the EDD will automatically open a PUA claim for you if you don't qualify for Fed Ed. But as we saw before, if you didn't qualify for Fed Ed, you almost always had to call the EDD so that they would place you on the PUA program. All right, everyone, let me know in the comments down below, did this clear anything up for you? Did you like this format of video with this background? Let me know what you still need help with on your California unemployment claims. I know that a lot of you wanna know when phase two starts, that's for people whose claim balance hit zero before the week ending 1227. And unfortunately the EDD, surprise, surprise, has not updated us on that yet. As soon as they do, I'll make a video and get that information out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.